Outrocast. Jeremy, first to you. Did you ever see the Turner and Her? Uh, Tur- oh, good speaking right there. Turner and Hooch movie before winding up in the show. I did, yeah, because I really, I really wanted to know how, um, how um, Scott Turner, aka, aka Tom Hanks, is, and then see how his daughter and son acts, and see how I should act, and well then, done. and then try and incorporate that with, and like combine that with what it says I should act like. Cool. Well, Lindsay, <laughs> I would assume you saw the movie, so you knew Reginald's work well before working in this but had you known anyone in the cast before winding up on the show yeah actually josh and i knew each other when we were like 14 year old kids living in a little apartment complex away from home doing auditions with our moms um we go way back and then we worked together on grandfathered with stamos um so we have a history and uh playing siblings was really second nature i mean we just i we feel like family so and obviously, yes, I know Reg from lots of his work. So not just Turner and Hooch. When I worked with Reg, you know, he has a very sincere sincerity to him. And, oh. and uh, it was really oh like, like working with someone that was in your family all these years. I mean, Laura oh, grew God. up with, with Reg's character her whole life. You know, so being able to be Josh, Josh, you know, sister and brother with Josh and have this history with Reg and honestly, Jeremy, too. I mean, I am a parent, so I also, you know, understand what it's like to have a kid. It was it was an immediate it was a very easy family dynamic situation. Before I throw a question to Reg, uh, I'm curious, was that apartment complex, the infamous Oakwoods? Uh, Actually, it was the. The, the like sad stepchild of, it was called <laughs> Archstone. I did live at Oakwoods, but it was called Archstone in that moment in, in, in history, yeah. And a lot of us came out of uh, that one too, so yeah. Well, without giving anything away, I, when I saw the title of the second episode of the show, I went, yes, we're gonna get a whole Reginald episode. This is gonna be great. <laughs> and it's not quite that per se, but we do get a lot of Die Hard in there. Oh. Was, was the script that we see reflective of totally what's on camera or did things change? Any idea, Reg? Well, I think things changed. I, um, you know, as a, unfortunately, I didn't see the first episode or second episode, but I understand that they cared enough about my character and me to, to, to do the best they could with, with the job. And I, I think I, they, I did okay, you know, and I, I, really enjoyed working with the other actors and what, and they're the ones that bring the show together, you know, uh, and I, I'm just there. And I, it was good to watch them do their thing and to be, to be fitted into to the, to the format. It was really a cool thing. And I, I really learned a lot of, a lot of good things and I appreciate them choosing to work with me. I really enjoyed it. I really did. Back to Jeremy here. Do you have a favorite part about working on Turner and Hooch? Yeah, I really do. The dogs and the people that I meet. I love meeting new people, getting to know them and trying to um, like bond with them. And I love bonding with dogs because they're excellent companions and they always listen to you and you have somebody to talk to. So it's just always amazing because because you have a dog near you and stuff. And most of my scenes w- are with Lindsay. And that makes it really easy because she's so nice to me. And she was very welcoming to me when I first stepped on set. That's so wonderful to hear that everyone is getting along and everybody respects each other because that's not always the case in all this. Uh, mm-hmm. One thing I couldn't figure out, when exactly was the show filmed? Did I read correctly that you wrapped in April? Uh, I don't, I don't remember. April? No, I yeah. don't. Was it April? Yeah, I think it was April. April. Yeah. I think, we wrapped, I think we wrapped in April. Yeah. And then in your case, Lindsay, do I have a correct? You're going between this and a second show. You're doing two shows at the same time? Uh, no, I, j- I, just, uh, I just wrapped a film. Yeah, I just, I went straight into a, a film, but I just finished it. So as soon as Turner and Hooch was over, I went into a, a, a 70s biopic called Spinning Gold. So very different, uh, very different tone and, and genre. Uh, but yeah, we we did we wrapped we went we did this show through COVID, and um, it was that was a big challenge. That was the biggest challenge. Yeah, it was a, a big um, yeah, 
It Maybe cuts your I hands should. off if you left your mask at home or something, you know. Mm. <laughs> Make sure you wore your mask. And it's so hard to recognize people with the mask. I know. Yeah. Like once you take it off and you're filming, you're like, okay, hold on. Who are you again? <laughs> right. It was an experience. It's so hard doing it with the makeup people and the hair people. You're like, oh, that's what you look like. Yeah. <laughs> and then my last question here, because I want to be mindful of everyone's time. Reg, I got to clear up a rumor. Are you from Long Island or have you lived on Long Island? Because a lot of people here on Long Island want to take credit for you. Wow. Well, I was born and raised in Queens, New York, which is part of Long Island. So, yes, I am. Okay, a Long so Island. Wikipedia is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia. I was born and raised in Queens, New York, Jamaica, Queens, you know, which uh, I remember very well, you know, but I'm glad I'm out of it. So. You know, <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations to you all on a show that's funny and heartwarming and looking forward to seeing what's next from all of you thank you thank for your time you. Thank, you. thank you